Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to do something wild. I don't know if y'all seen the other video, but I dyed my hair this lime green. And it didn't take worth a crap. It's black light. But, uh, so what I'm going to do, I've got this much black left. Then I'm going to paint on my roots with blue. And then I went and got Manic Panic, the Siren Song, which is like a pretty, pretty teal. And we'll run it through the rest. So that's what we're going to be doing today. i got to go change though because I don't want to ruin my bra and my good tank. So I'll be right back. All right, what I'm going to do first is brush out my hair real good. I hope this turns out okay, because normally if I was going to do a fashion color, I'd have to bleach my roots, but I don't want to. I just don't want to. So we're going to do it the lazy way. I'm just going to paint them blue. hope it turns out darker than the rest, and we'll look on brush. So we're going for it. Okay, so let me some handy dandy gloves here. Just the roots only. So we'll see how this guy goes. This blue is splat is very, very, very runny. Too, by the way. I'm using no protection on my skin, so it could get ugly. I'm probably going to look like a stained little lizard when I'm done. But this is what we're going to do first. Do a slight root job here. I thought since I had the roots, I'd go ahead and darken it and accentuate them since they're going to be, they're going to be there. No matter what color, if your hair is different colors, when you put a different color on top of it, it's not going to be evenly colored, so I thought this would be the best way to accentuate, but blend, if that makes sense. Like ombre look it instead of a, just painted all the teal. But anyway, guys, I will be back when I get this part done, okay? Thanks for watching. One second. Alright, you guys, so the roots are done. All of them are blue, and I'm definitely going to have a stained face. <laughs> um, didn't do a perfect job, but I did the front. And I'm going to take the teal and just run it completely over top of this. I had a ton of blue left, so I'll put it back in my splat bottle. I don't, this is called vibrant blue, if you want to know what blue splat I'm using. Let's just get this right here a little bit better. When I say, I don't care if I'm getting stained, it'll be fine. But we'll look silly at the end. Y'all know why. Okay, so I'm going to pour the blue back in here. Hopefully, I won't make a mess. Because the tall leaf didn't hardly use nothing. I only had a little bit left. I thought I would use it up, but it didn't take hardly anything. So I'm going to pour all of it back in here. And then we're going to clean the bowl and put the teal in. So, I'll be back when I get that done. Thank y'all for watching. Be right back. Okay, uh, I'm going back in now with the uh, Manic Panic, the Sirens song. Got all my roots done. That's probably a bad idea. It's going to get my mouth. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Show it to y'all. Can't show it to you without spilling it. Shoot. Anyway, look. So that's what that looks like. It looks similar to the blue, but a little bit more greenish. Pour it into my bowl. I'll do a lot because I sure didn't take a lot of splat, so we shall see. Alright, so I'm just gonna go right back over what I did. I'm going to do the fronts 
first to make sure they get it the best. So I'm going to pick up a layer here, smooth it out some, and get the paint. Well, this one definitely don't look like it uh, is as thin, so I might take a whole lot of this one. Huh? I might do it with the sponge in a minute. All right, guys, gonna pause you. Hit pause for me, please. Alright guys, I am uh, still going to town here. I am noticing that this stuff is kind of thicker. And I'm debating on whether I should put um, conditioner in. I am went to my sponge method here where I wet the sponge and kind of rub it in. But it is leaving a lot of blonde splotches through it, whether I do it with the brush or with this. So, I'm hoping I got enough to do my thick hair because even though it don't look like it, it is. It, <laughs> it is thick. Let's see here what that side looks like so far. Just got one side done, not the back. Start on this side. Right there, the face is definitely where you want it to be the best. So concentrate on that very good. Hopefully, if any blonde patches do work their way through, that where it's got that lime green, hopefully it'll stain it and maybe cause some little light green highlights and it won't stand out too bad, I'm hoping. I'm hoping I have enough to get it all the way through really, really good. Maybe I should have went for two jugs. I don't know. Well, if you need to still like your hair like that. I'm not going to start with my hair like this. Like, definitely not doing that. And you're like, I didn't even know where to meet. <laughs> Alright, we'll be back in a bit, guys. I'm going to get it all coated. Hit pause. Okay, so here's an update. I did add some conditioner. And it kind of makes it easier to go on. So hopefully it don't dilute it to where it's lighter. But I think I'm going to have exactly just enough. I'm going to keep on and keep on, you know, massaging it in and massaging it in the whole time I'm letting it set. I'm going to let it set for a pretty dang long time. Even though it's going to kill me because I'm so ready to see what it looks like already. So, but this is what it looks like so far. Mmm. Just got to massage it all in and wait. So there's your update. We'll be back again in a minute. 